I'm Chad Bettis, author of The Disciple Making Parent, and this is my audio blog, where I read some of my blog posts in audio format for your convenience. Well, in today's episode, we're going to be thinking about discipleship is a process, not a product. Well, last weekend, I led a seminar on raising sexually healthy kids. In today's world, this topic is even more of a challenge. But apart from the content, I've been thinking about the method of teaching our children. And it reminds me that I need to remember God's method as well as God's content. The key thought? Discipleship is a process, not a product. You know, it's easy to fall into the error of thinking that all we have to do is to teach our children something once and they should be all set. Or we take them through a program and then check that off the list. Formal teaching is helpful, but it's not the whole of discipleship. Discipleship is life-on-life instruction and care. If we look at the example of Jesus, this is exactly what we see. Jesus taught his disciples proactively, yes, and reactively over three years. He taught them formally, yes, and informally. And even at the end, he said he had more to teach them, that the Holy Spirit would have to teach them those things later. That can be found in John 16, 12. Our children also need formal teaching and informal mentoring. They need proactive and reactive instruction and care. Why? Well, because our children can handle different information at different times. In addition, there's a readiness in discipleship. Sometimes our children are ready to learn, and sometimes they're not. We can apply this in the adult world as well. In my early days, there was much more of an emphasis on intentional discipleship. Christians might say something like, John discipled me when I was a new Christian, or have you ever been discipled? What they meant was that an individual had taken them through a program so that they would learn specific content and specific habits. In terms of organization and intentionality, I actually miss that process. I think it has tremendous value. But there can be an unintended consequence. Both the discipler and the disciple can think that this is all there is to the process. The the study produced a product, them. Paul was able to say to the Philippians that he was there for their progress and joy in the faith. That's Philippians 1.25. We never stop growing, and we should never stop needing, quote, disciplers in our life. Everyone needs a Paul, Barnabas, and Timothy in their lives. By Paul, I mean someone who is teaching you. Who is the person that you seek out to deliberately learn from? If we're to never stop growing, then there is always someone who can teach you in the faith. But not only do we need a Paul, we need a quote-unquote Barnabas. A Barnabas is not a mentor, but a, a partner in ministry. Who challenges you as a friend as iron sharpens iron? Who can you share your heart with? Who is your Barnabas? In addition, we need Timothys in our lives. Timothys are those that we're teaching and investing in. Who are our sons and daughters in the faith that we're praying for and taking a special interest in? Out of all the people in the church or network, who are we especially pouring our lives into? As we think about family discipleship, take heart. This is a process. Yes, it involves formal teaching like a church, but it also involves thousands of micro conversations. It's messy life on messy life. Through life changes, it never stops. Whether toddler or 20-something, we are there for their progress in the faith. Even if our adult child is a prodigal, he can't stop us from praying. Discipleship is a process, not a product. Thank you for listening to the Disciple Making Parent audio blog. Did you know that we give the audio book away absolutely free? We are on a mission to equip parents to pass the gospel to their children. So if you would like your own audio book of the Disciple Making Parent book, then simply send an email to audiobook at theapollosproject.com telling us you heard about the offer on the podcast. That's audiobook at theapollosproject.com. Thanks for listening.